Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, Lucia here, and today on the channel we're going to be watching episode 5 of Devil Man Cry Baby. Um, I don't have on the my current screen what this episode is called, I'm lying, it's called Beautiful Silence, it just popped up. Yay. Um, anyways, this episode's called Beautiful Silence, um, I don't want to read the little description because I want to go in completely blind, which is not exactly how I feel without my glasses, but I am tired of the glare. But I can still read, but also without my glasses, the vision isn't as good. Thus glasses, but again, tired of the glare. Yeah. Anywho, uh, last week's episode was a doozy. It was a tough one. Kira and his mom, his dad, the demons, well, dad got turned into a demon. The dad demon um, murdered and killed a bunch load of people including the mom and then it was so curious how the demons the the not the demons but the death the faces were on the demon and they uh, still had the personalities of them even when they're alive and um Rio said called them something they're like face somethings or soul somethings I don't quite know what exactly what it is called I forgot but I was like, bruh, that's so interesting. Regardless, um, yeah, it was, it was a doozy, basically. And, yeah, nothing more to say than it was a doozy. I might actually put my glasses back on. But regardless, we're going to watch episode 5 right now. <laughs> Depending on my schedule, I usually watch maybe one or two episodes of Devil Man Cry Baby a week. And, um... It's never a chore. I always, I always let, end off, end up watching the show, like after the episode ends, thinking, "Man, this show is really fun to watch." And I know views wise on YouTube, they're not really. It's not really getting seen for the reaction. I know that. It's okay because although you know editing and stuff takes time, I'm does it doesn't feel like a chore with this show. I try to pick shows where even if the views aren't there, at least if I'm having a good time, it's okay if the views aren't there. And that's what I'm saying with this show. I'm enjoying the heck out of the show. The the music, the artistry, the animation quality, the change up in the fluidity, the, the designs of the characters. Everything is just so much fun. And then of course the voice acting. I recognize, recognize a lot of them from other projects. And I'm like, bro, it's so great. Um, I've known about the show a while, I think, since it came out on Netflix, and I just never watched it. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I can just share with you all this experience who've never seen it themselves, maybe, or maybe you're new to the channel, or you maybe you're, you've been with me a while on this channel and you've never heard of the show, and through my reactions, you getting to know the show, and so that's awesome. I do apologize apologize of course that you have to go through a separate link to watch the actual reaction but again youtube doesn't like this show so streamable it is well anyways this episode was really fun um like i said in the reaction like i said i think in episode one or two if this kid akira does not get laid by the end of episode how many other 10 episodes 12 episodes something like that if he doesn't get laid by the end of the show i'm gonna call it massive bs do you see how much sexualized things are in this show do you see how much nipples and snatches and did you see the amount of fucking semen on his ceiling if that kid is still a virgin by the end of the season i'm gonna call it massive bullshit i'm just saying i'm just saying you know, he was going ham with those nipples though. Maybe that's inappropriate to say, whatever, I don't care. That's what happened. He was going ham, he was like a motorboat. Again, maybe inappropriate, but like... <laughs> I'm really curious that like, so like the voice actor for Akira, um, I've seen him in interviews cause like he plays Suki and like Haikyuu and stuff like that. And then like um, Shigaraki and My Hero. And like the voice actor himself, uh, what's his name, Yuchi or something like that, he's pretty, he's pretty polite and like, you know, pretty calm. And so I wonder what like got him interested in this role or if they're like, they're just like, hey, do you want it? And he just said, sure. Or what about this project made him interested? So 
I don't know, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm here for it though. But regardless, uh, yeah, that was a good episode. Uh, basically, Akira was getting, he was going through some emotions, fighting some demons. And uh, to try and like, because he hates the demons because of what happened again with his parents and whatnot. But he also feels crying because I think that's a part of him, of the demon now. Um, he hates that. Spoiler alert for Hunter Hunter. Spoiler alert. Um, for the Khmer Ant arc, you know, we had... Um, um, Palm crying that um, the king Miriam was um, wanting to kneel, kneel, kneel at her feet because her aunt side, her Khmer aunt side, was like refuting that fact. Like, no, 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 no. He's he's a king. He can't do that. And then her human side was like, yes, you know. So similar vein with Akira, both his demon side and his human side, they were at war and conflict with each other. So I think that's what happened. Done spoiler for Hunter Hunter, Khmer, and Arkstop. Um, at the end of this era, uh, not era, what is it called? That saga. Arc. The end of that arc. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Um, Akira got his. He got some damage. That was a lot of damage, and uh, they definitely. The uh, two demons merged together, definitely got Kimimaru. If you know what I'm talking about, watch Naruto. Um, you know, the Sasuke mission retrieval arc. Again, spoilers if you haven't seen it. It's an older show, though, as is Hunter Hunter, but still, whatever. Um, it was a good episode, and um, real, all his talk about humans and this and that. Uh, is he not a human, then? You know? We know that he doesn't really have parents because I think that's what was said in the first episode or maybe I'm just assuming he doesn't have parents. I don't know. They knew each other since they were kids, uh, Kara and Ryu. But oh, what is underneath that jacket? Why is he always wearing it? I don't understand. Is he going to be like in uh, Hercules? He's just going to flip it open. He's going to be like, anyone want to buy a sundial? Nah, he ain't that cool. Anyways, that was a good episode. Um, I'll see you next time for episode six. And this was Lucia with You Know What You Like. So, bye. Like, subscribe, comment down below. What should I watch after Devil Man Cry Baby? I know we got a few more weeks, several more weeks leading up to the end, but what should I watch next? I'm up to for suggestions, and I will, you know, if there are anyone leaving suggestions, I will pick from them. And if not, well, I'll give it some thought. All right, anyways, bye.